welcome back everyone. If you're new to my channel, my name is Hannah, also known as Tropical Plant Addict, and I create content on exotic style gardening, house plants, and home decor. Today I'm going to be talking to you about why moss poles are so important for your climbing plants, and I'm going to be adding some of the amazing Mr. Jig modular moss poles to a selection of my climbers. Currently some of my plants are growing up bamboo canes, traditional style moss poles that you can't extend, or nothing at all, so it's been long overdue, something I've been meaning to do for quite some time. Mr Jig has kindly sent me a selection of modular moss poles in two different sizes and a variety of colours. The website and their social media pages will be linked below in the description box. I also have a discount code for my followers, which is Tropical Plant Addict 10 which will get you 10% off your order and all you do is type in this code at the checkout. Currently they're only shipping within the UK but for international just contact Mr Jig direct and they can quote you specifically. So to start with I'm going to explain why it's beneficial to use a moss pole with your climbing plants. So in nature the plants will basically find a tree to climb and attach to. The aerial roots grip onto the tree which allows the plant to climb and it also will feel supported and in turn this will allow the plant to produce the largest leaves possible and the healthiest growth. The moss pole will provide support for your plant so as close as you can get to its natural habitat. The plant will actually establish a root system within the moss pole so then it enables it to take in water and nutrients from the actual moss. So more roots mean a happier plant and when it's thriving it will throw out much larger leaves which is what we want when we are collecting rare plants and we're basically growing them for the foliage. Today I'm going to be repotting and adding a modular moss pole to my Philodendron Billetier and also my Burley Marxi. I have already added some poles to some of my other plants which I'll show you later on in the video. The modular moss poles are 3D printed and they have been designed basically to grow with your plant. One of the drawbacks of my current support poles is that they cannot be extended and eventually need replacing every time the plant outgrows it. Mr Jig poles are fully modular and the components screw together to create a seamless and attractive pole that can simply be filled with moss. They feature a beautiful lattice design and come in a range of colours to suit any decor or plant. They are currently available in two sizes, 25mm and 50mm diameter and each set comes with various mounting options. The first mounting option is a spike that you can insert directly into the soil. So this might be the best option for you if you don't want to repot the whole plant, you can simply just add the pole. Next, we have a brace with three adjustable arms, which is really useful as it adds stability, especially if you have a really tall plant. There's also a flat base and each set also comes with a cap, which finishes off the look of the pole. I really love the packaging and the logo and everything in the box is fully recyclable. So I'm going to go ahead now and add a pole to a couple of my plants. So the first plant I'm going to repot is my Philodendron Billetier. As you can see, it's pretty big. This started off as a small three-leafed plant and now it's absolutely huge and it's outgrown this old traditional moss pole and it has actually needed repotting for quite some time. I'm expecting there to be a lot of root system on this plant. So I'm going to be transferring it into a larger pot and I'm going to be using the brace mount option for maximum stability. But I'm going to be using the moss green colour, not the white. So this is the medium sized modular moss pole in the colour moss green. So inside each box, everything is wrapped in recyclable paper and then you just get a little setup guide with it. So here we have the brace mount, which I'm going to be using today. So with each medium set, you get three of these 190 millimeter poles. And then obviously if you need more, you can just buy individual poles as an extension. So I'm going to go ahead and make a huge mess, probably get soil everywhere, repot the plant, add the pole, and I will film the progress.
So I realised that the mount actually needs to be lower down in the pot and my pot... Hello to Marvin who has kindly joined us on the video. <laughs> So I realised that the brace mount actually needs to be lower down in the pot and my pot's not big enough. So I did switch it over to the soil spike and it's very sturdy, I've put it quite far down into the pot and then I'm going to add one more extension on the top of the pole. I've just used some garden ties to just roughly tie it onto the pole for now. Although I did order some garden wraps which are velcro which I haven't tried before but I might try those out. They're just called One Wrap Garden Ties. I just got these off Amazon. Well, once you've actually got moss in the pole, I think you can get some little clips that kind of fasten it into the moss. In regards to the moss, I just use premium quality sphagnum moss, which is sustainably sourced. You soak it in some water, wring it out, and then all I did with my other poles was just to pop a little bit down the pole and then I was using a bamboo stick just to kind of poke it down into the bottom. I did run out of my moss a couple of days ago so I ordered some more and that just arrived actually so I need to give that a good soak. So I'm going to repot and add a pole to my other plant and then I'll add the moss and then I'll give you a little tour of all the plants that have got the new poles. Something that I forgot to mention Ideally, once the moss is in the pole, you want to try and get the aerial roots to make contact with the moss, if possible. If not, don't worry too much, eventually they'll find their way into the moss. But it will give them a good head start if you actually poke them into the moss pole. So all my plants have got their new poles. I really love this tan colour, it's a lovely contrast against the plant. And this one's going to need an extension on it soon. Again, I didn't use the brace on this particular plant because the plant pot is actually too big. Normally you would use this size pole in a smaller plant pot. So I'm just going to add some sphagnum moss to the pole. I don't usually use this brand of moss. I usually use a brand called Spag Moss from New Zealand, but I couldn't get any of it quickly. So I just ordered this premium moss from Amazon. And then I'm just going to use a wooden stick to poke it down. You could also add the moss as you go along before you add the extensions on. I'm switching over to a bamboo stick. To keep the moss moist you can either spray it or you can just water from the top of the pole so it trickles all the way down. This might mean that you don't need to water your plant as often if you are watering from the top of the pole and it's dripping down into the actual pot but because I'm new to this type of pole I'll just experiment and see what happens. Please let me know if you do end up purchasing any of the modular moss poles. I'd love to see pictures of your plants climbing up the poles. I'm really pleased with the poles, they were easy to set up, they look attractive but they don't take focus away from the plant and I love that you can get them in lots of different colours. I am drawn to these earthy type of colours just because they go with my decor, but I think some of the other colours like the white would look really good in like a modern home. And I have a feeling that they might be bringing out some metallics as well, which I think would look really nice. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I really hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. As I mentioned before, I'll attach all Mr Jig's links and information in the description box along with the code that you can use at the checkout. I'll obviously keep you updated on how all the plants are doing. Take care everyone, thanks again for watching and I'll see you all soon in my next video. Bye!